Beagle. Come here. So I'm painting the brick around the house and I'm here working on the porch. You can see we've got bars on the windows. Um, most people don't have bars around there, but we're like one of the few houses in the area. We've been around for for oh, way over 40 years. Um, and this is the home where I grew up. And you know, we've been doing DIY home repair, homestead repair videos and you saw the cabinetry that I did you can check that out on the uh, in the chat on the channel and uh, this is the front and the yard and I'm just you know painting today I did a bunch of other things which I'll I'll show you guys in just a little bit here but um, yeah there's been a lot of things that I've had to take care of and um, I'm still working on I gotta take care of a, a handful of things yet. So, finished uh, doing mo most of the floor. Here's a divide between the kitchen and the living space. Um, let me step back a little bit. It's a mess in here. I've got my, well, everything. Uh, table saw, everything on this table. Um, we've got the living room floor, the original one. I consolidated it all. Uh, towards the living room all the boards that you see here Cons Just all those are damaged actually believe it or not and some of these have a little bit of damage, but uh, They're the best of the best that I could find we got the division bell and then the new floors uh, This has all been a pain in the butt because these don't want to click properly You can hear people beeping like this is the city, which it is. Dumbasses. Anyhow, so yeah, living room floor, the original one. It's going to look more uncluttered when there's less clutter and I clean it. And um, then it transitions over here with this divider. Then it goes down this hall. But it's been a pain in the it's been a pain in the butt, pain in the butt. They don't want to click. They're the eco ones, eco ones, uh, lower cost ones you get at the depot, and uh, they just don't want to um, click into each other. Believe me, I've done a bunch. Of, well, uh, not only did I do this floor originally, and it came together great. Um, I also did this floor. I also did this floor here in the uh, one of the bedrooms. And um, I also did this floor. And these all came together. Not, they came together fine. Not to mention the uh, floors next door and the ones I've done for customers when I was doing handyman jobs, more handyman jobs, but this floor was a pain in the butt. It's still not finished. I have to edge this. I gotta fix some drywall there. Um, you remember the the wall that I had had to patch the tiles? Well, you can not see. I know where it's at, but you can't really tell. Can you tell where it's at? where I patched tiles and uh, of course I did this cabinet up here brand new cabinet I've been working on the roof as well uh, painted the outside uh, took some some stuff here in the bathroom but I got to re grout still so I'll show you I painted you won't be able to tell the difference between the two but I'm 
gave it a fresh new look. You can see the difference here, the old color versus the new color. And this nice sort of canary color too. Yeah, you can see the new you can see the new paint here. And um, so yeah, I've got my bandsaw, little bandsaw there, a bunch of junk now. Uh, <laughs> I got flex flex seal, rubber flex, leak stopper, um, gloss indoor outdoor paint. Uh, just a bunch of scraps of wood that I got to get rid of. Glue, spackle. Um, well, I've got my angle grinder and uh, nail gun, uh, nail gun, uh, caulking gun. Just a bunch of stuff over here. Uh, down here, I've got my um, drill. Here's another drill I've got here. Some degreaser that I used for, this is the mastic that I used for the tiles. Some siliconizer. I got some towels, a screwdriver up in there, if you can see. Sponge, rollers, this is old rollers and stuff I gotta throw away. This white glue, more siliconizer. Um, and the flooring stuff. This is what you use for Planking the flooring together. This, this stuff here. And a hammer or a mallet you could use. So, yeah, I just got to finish the trim. I got to do some spackling here and there. I got to paint. In here, we've got little areas I got to paint. Um, right? Over here as well, I got to paint. This, I still got to put together. I did buy a tongue and groove board to fix that. I might need to get one more because I need to, I need to do two side by side maybe. Um, so yeah, boy, it's hot. So it's, it's all, <laughs> the place is trashed and I got to clean things up. Uh, I got to do some some painting here and there. I did the baseboards. We could tell. Um, I need to touch them up. Baseboards there. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I've been sort of, it's been raining busy, and since I've been on my back, knees, rolling, crawling, climbing. Um, I had my back go out and so you know this is the first update since that last update but um, yeah that's about it you know now you, now you know I got a lot of work to do still but we're we're getting there actually once I clean the area out and do some punch out work like you know caulking edges and whatnot just punch out work We'll take care of things. We'll, we'll be done. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys next update.